Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today, as you can see from the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be doing a mass heal wizard attack strategy, which is going to be a ton of fun. Now you guys may wonder yourselves, well we're doing a mass wizard slash healer attack strategy, but I've got balloons in my arm being composition. Now that is because if we get ourselves into the army composition, you can see it is a lava loon and attack strategy with two red spells, a clone spell, three haste spells, a lava hound and a balloon in the clan Castle with both our queen and king. Now that is because before we get ourselves into the mass wizard fun attack, I want to do one of my war attacks. So I still have to do both of my war attacks, which I want to get in today's episode. Maybe only one of them, most likely only one of them. The first one, which we're going to do in just a couple of seconds. And then the second one, I'm going to be doing by myself. And I may update you on that if I remember tomorrow. So with that being said, our target is number seven right here. It is a Town Hall 11 base, but you're going to see it's an engineer base. And I'm attacking number 7 because as you can see I am number 7 I sadly got 3 star bar there number 4 player But that is absolutely fun Hopefully we can 3 star there God, Now I am not sure if we are going to be able to 3 star him Now Lou if you are watching this video Which you most likely are I know you recommended me another attack strategy Besides Lava Lunion I tried it out I literally tried it out so many times in the multiplayer battles And I failed I only got a 1 star So I am still testing out strategies Lou So please bear with me And uh, yeah yeah, so today I'm going to be doing another Lava Loon in Attack Street, but I think it's going to be working out today. So this guy does have the double cannon, which is pretty damn awesome, but we are going to get ourselves in from this side of the base, basically from the bottom of the base, kind of, because you can see this Air Sweeper is pointing towards the left-hand side of the base, and this Air Sweeper also kind of towards the left-hand side. So I'm on attack from this side, basically come in with my Lava Hounds over here. First of all, lure out with the Clan Castle, lure out the Clan Castle with my Hog Riders, which we're going to do in the very beginning of the attack so we are actually going to do this right now let's check out the builders and okay so the build hearts are on the outside of the base we're gonna have to take those out with our two archers but that is fine that's gonna work out so pray for me please hashtag three star down below in the comment section if you are still watching and if you think i am going to be able to three star this base let's go ahead and check it out okay so we just started the attack so what we're gonna do now is we are going to start dropping in one haste ball two hog riders and one balloon to be able to lure out that clan castle. The double cannon is going to do a ton of damage. The uh, clan castle units are going to come out though. Sadly, not every single one of them. Wow, that is very unfortunate. All of the minions have come out, but sadly, nothing else. That is very unfortunate indeed. So, we're going to have to see how we're going to deal with that. Going to drop in our king and queen. Not going to drop the poison spot in quite yet because the minions are going to target the queen. Sadly, wanted the minions to target the king, but that didn't work out. But, anyways, check it out. I've got a plan, so do not worry. So we're going to drop in the Lava Hound and ignore the Lava Hound. Let's start dropping in our balloons like so. All of our balloons. Let's drop in one and two haste balls. Let's drop in another balloon. And uh, sorry, not another balloon. Another Lava Hound. Now let's start dropping in our raid spells. Going to drop in that poison spell right now on these uh, skeletons. Going to drop in that clone spell over on these balloons. And we're actually going to clone all of these balloons. Hopefully this does work out. Our minions going to have to drop them in behind. Let's see if this is going to work, you guys. Our king is still at almost half health. A little arm. Let's pop his king ability right now. Where's the arch queen? She's on the bottom of the base. Our balloons are sadly going towards this mortar. No, the clone balloons and this bunch of balloons is going towards the mortar, which is unfortunate. We may not be able to get the three. So you guys, arch queen is now on the fire power by those balloons, and it doesn't look like we're going to be getting the three star. Now that is very unfortunate. Actually, we've got a lava hound alive. Can we clutch this? I do not know if we can do this. Come on, balloon. What are you doing? Did you see how long that balloon took to actually start dropping its balloons? I don't know you guys is it going to be a three star the expert still alive the wizard tower the archer tower but we're going to be able to get it are we are we i don't know you guys balloon drop your bomb yes there it goes the archer tower is the final defense that can target our love hops and our balloons are we going to be able to get the three star you guys i do not know let's check it out are the balloons going to be able to drop the bombs and the balloons have survived the uh, minions and the lava pops have taken out the enemy clan castle balloons and it looks like this is going to be a very very lucky three star i am absolutely happy be worth that you guys balloons are still a lot a couple of minions and lava pops they're gonna do the rest of this damage on the base the builders have already been taking out the builder huts besides one this is gonna be the final structure from there the enemy tells us to actually drop in our units because the arrows usually tend towards where you should drop so where you should start dropping your units and it's gonna be the final building three to one bam there we go you guys perfect 100 percent three star rate and that is the history of this attack you guys so 100 percent pretty damn awesome 
awesome. We got an awesome move bonus, which I'm happy about. That's going to be a 100%. Again, you guys, let's see. Did anyone in the clan say anything? Yes, Jasu, GG Rising. Thank you very much. Oh my god, thank you very, thank you very, oh my god, I can't even type. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay, so, anyways, you guys, we got the first three star within the war, and now we're going to move on towards the mass wizard attack. So, you can see we've got mass wizards and five heal spells. This is going to be a ton of fun. Let's actually train up a single point spell gem it up. We're not going to gem up the king and queen because they are still taking 35 minutes of reviving. That's going to be a ton of gems if I want to gem them up. Let's calculate it actually. 36 and 35. So that is about 69 gems. Yes, you got 69. I know I should gem it up, but it's just a ton of gems. I don't want to waste all of my gems. So we're going to get ourselves into battle with just our wizards and the healers. And we already landed on a absolutely perfect base. You guys, check it out. A dead base. We're going to have a ton of fun in this attack. So we're going to drop in a couple of wizards over on this side. Not going to drop any heal spells quite yet. Dropped about 10 wizards. Almost 10. 8 wizards were those wizards. Let's see can they do any sort of damage. Yes, they took out two of the collectors, nothing else though. So now we're gonna drop in a heal spot over here. Gonna drop in the wizard lug. So let's see about 10 wizards again. 10 wizards on every side should be a decent amount of wizards, about 10 or 15. There we go, rest of the wizards. Let's drop in one and two heal spells. And now let's drop in the rest of our wizards over here. So this is gonna be a pretty damn fun attack. Dropping in those heal spells. You can see if I zoom out, all of the wizards are still alive. You got wizards and heal spells. They're doing a ton of damage. Check these wizards out on the bottom of the base these cannons these wizard towers are trying to take out our wizards but that heal spell is just keeping them alive for the entire raid so that's pretty awesome let's try and take out this cannon with three wizards they're going to be doing the damage yes that is going to work out 47 percent can we clutch the one star you guys there goes one wizard on the builder top there goes another one 49 percent and we're going to be getting the 50 percent one star so that's pretty awesome you guys also managed to clutch up this attack so one attack was successful confirmed and the multiplayer attack was also successful check out the amount of loot that is remaining in this base only 31 of each that is pretty hilarious and only five dark elixirs so check it out as you can see from this attack we got the 50 percent victory clutch victory right here with a ton of loot almost a 1 million loot rate in total that is a ton of loot for me now for you guys that are town hall 11s that may not be enough loot uh yeah loot i'm talking to you basically and yeah you guys but for me that is a pretty damn awesome amount of loot let's return back to base see if we can upgrade anything so i'm guessing we can actually upgrade a couple of wards we got this star bonus which is pretty damn awesome gonna be able to upgrade one or two wards two wards actually so as you can see we've got 2.8 million gold and 2.3 million elixirs so we're gonna be upgrading a single wall up to level 10 in three two one bam there goes another wall up to level 10 which is pretty damn insane let's upgrade another one up to level 10 and that means we only have three walls to upgrade to the next level so that we are then maxed out on level 10 wards Again, if I get myself into this right here, into the edit layout, and you can see on the bottom of your screen, three level nine walls left. As you can see right here, these are the only walls that are level nine. The rest are level 10 and level 11, because I actually had not noticed I had beginning walls, level one walls. I did not notice it because they were in my shop, so I had started upgrading my level 11 walls. So I never noticed I had any other walls to purchase from the shop, so I started upgrading the level 11 walls, which was pretty funny but yeah anyways we only have three balls to upgrade to level 10 which we're gonna accomplish in about two or three days time so that's not a lot at all so we're gonna collect this beautiful loot right here not a lot at all but yeah that is absolutely fun you guys so at this one i'd like to end the video so if you did enjoy this video then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up also let me know down below in the comment section if you did enjoy this video if you would like to see more war videos if you would like to see more mass troop attacks something like that would you like to see some sort of mass skeleton spell attack that would be pretty pretty damn fun just let me know down below in the comment section something you want to see if you haven't already but you do enjoy my content then please be sure to subscribe to my channel for daily videos and with all that being said it goes my name is of course sasha and i'll see you next time peace out